hey, good job on finding this marker. You guys are really good at this. Now, when I'm out in the wild trying to look closely at things, I like to get a different angle, a different perspective. Let me show you what I mean. And so when I go out, I, I try to get down low to the ground, and then I sort of look around and see what I could find. And when I do that, I can find things that otherwise I would have missed, like this little mushroom. Let's see what else we can find. <gasps> you guys, look at this, a trilobite beetle. Here, let me get a picture so you can see. Check it out. Now this trilobite beetle is amazing. I mean, just look at it. It looks like a dinosaur. The first thing you notice when you look at the trilobite beetle is those armored plates. And you see how they sort of interlock and move with the beetle? Now those are there to protect him against predators. It's just the way that God designed it. Now something about the trilobite that's amazing is how rare it is. In fact, the trilobite beetle was only recently rediscovered after more than a hundred years. We're talking a century, no one even saw the these things. Another cool thing about the trilobite beetle is sort of like a turtle, it can pull its head into its body. Again, that's for protection so that its head is covered by those plates. Now those plates are armor. And you know what? It reminds us that God wants us to put on our armor. That's right. It's called the armor of God. And it's protection against the enemy in our spiritual battle. Let's take a look at the different pieces of the armor of God. So what are the pieces of the armor of God? Let's take a look. First, you have the helmet of salvation. You have the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the sandals of peace, the shield of faith, and the sword of the spirit. Those are the different pieces of armor that God wants us to put on every single day. The Bible tells us that there is this spiritual battle that's going on, and it's in the Bible in Ephesians 6, verses 12 and 13. Here's what it says. Listen to this. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, and against the rulers of the darkness of this world. That sounds like a battle to me. And against the spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. So every day we need to put on the whole armor of God, so that we're protected against what the enemy is trying to bring against us. Remember, it's a spiritual battle. Here's the letter that you need to write down. A, A for armor, the armor of God. Go ahead and continue on your journey, and when you do, Watch your step. Be careful not to step on any of our creepy crawly friends.